hi guys uh welcome to our new video uh today we're gonna see something very good or learn something very good about take a lot so a lot of people say how can i put a new i list my items on take a lot uh i'm not going to go before or after i'm gonna do deal with people already who have some the, the account already is there so first step you have to know you have to write down the description of your of your of your item explain to people how it works and stuff good enough on uh, these platforms you don't need to explain a lot so good enough the images tells us what the item is selling so but then take a lot has a standard of uh, pictures you can use so I have to uh, today we're going to work with fender liners. These are fender liners. So right, I need a minimum of five images. They should have no background, right? You can see there's no background. So images with no background, in most cases, they are PNG files. So then also the another uh, requirement on the uh, on the image, you should make the image at least I think 600 pixels and more. But me, I did 1,200. Okay, so uh, that gonna when you go to properties, you can see this is 597 with 400. Let me see if that makes sense. Okay, let me go to the second. Let me go to the third image. Okay, this is a, a image which is large enough. So if these images are okay, these are large images. So good that's why they say they need a back a back a, a, a white background so when i go to properties and i say image property i can see this is 1200 by 800 that's very good so these two images are fine but this other image is not 100 percent fine the good thing about these images the three images they are png images so now you can see if i go to properties i'm using linux ubuntu on windows it could be a little bit different so but then what i'm gonna do there is a website called resizeimage.com image resizer.com okay let's go to image resizer.com and uh, see if we can do something we're gonna say and say image image resizer okay dot com let's see if it's gonna help us okay when we on that uh i think i'm getting a wrong url okay it's fine i'm gonna go to i'm gonna just copy the url from a different side and uh put it here and uh, that url goes like like this okay image resizer.com is gonna give you this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna collect i'm gonna do it and i say fender liners I needed one two three images so i think uh these one two three these are the images i might need i'm gonna even take all of them out oh, it doesn't give me that but it's fine i'll say the first one I'll put it in there you can see it's smaller i'll say 1200 you just say one side then after that you resize okay after resizing that it's processing you download that okay it's in downloads already I just go refresh this then I select the same image and another image okay do the same process I want to say 1200 after putting 1.2 it would it will determine what it wants to do then you say resize and then after processing you're gonna do what they call download okay done you're gonna go image okay again then pick another image then resize then you say 1200 okay then i say resize okay okay that's good then say download okay after downloading all those images what are we gonna do is gonna be simple we're gonna go to downloads you can see there's one two three so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in back here uh one two three i delete these guys and uh, say okay after deleting those guys i can come back here and i rename these ones i say 
one. Uh, Fender. So the Fender liner. Um, I would say right. Just I want I want, it, I want them to have different names. Uh, okay. Rename Fender liner fiat 500 then say come on that's good then you can go here and say fender liner fiat 512 this doesn't matter just I'm, I'm just i want them to be unique to 20 2017 okay doing that I'm done. The reason why I'm putting them in the folder, I just want to be just like person who's what he's, uh, I would say, organized. So after doing that, what's going to happen now? I'm going to go to my portal here. Now we're starting to work. Working, remember, you have to organize already your description, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to existing offers. Okay, not there. We say new offers. You click on that. Then say add to catalog. Okay, take a lotus catalog. We click there. After clicking there, you need to get uh you see I submitted already to uh this one was submitted today. Sometimes when you submit now it takes maybe two days or sometimes that the system I don't understand it hundred percent, but they will they will do what they will approve. If they don't approve, you're gonna see something red here, this side. But they don't approve it just in a day so it takes a little bit of uh, some time then you come here on your right and say add product so when you add a product then they take you to this page whereby you have to choose which category is your product falling into mine falls into auto or motor space i can go and come and say home sometimes it's confusing because you can't even know that this is uh, uh something like automotive so automotive what happens is like it's hidden under home so it depends on your whatever so your thing is click on anything depending on your um, um your item then you click on a second one it's gonna give you sub items like this side you click on another one. if you don't get it you can give you sub items so if you don't get that then you can say okay that works let me go here for argument sake mine is here then i say automotive Still, I'm gonna go here and find it's gonna be body parts. So I'm looking for body parts. Click here, scroll a little bit down. Mm, suspension parts. Mo this is what they call motor vehicle parts, motor vehicle frame, and body parts. When I click there, it, it means I'm here. So it called next. So if your product has a var, they call it variant something, variant. So variant means sometimes maybe you're selling something maybe uh, something for left and right i'm setting a side mirror for left or for the right whatever so if you do that then that's when you're going to click here and select whatever you want to do will okay maybe it could be right left size stuff like that colors you know when you buy a shoe you can find a shoe uh colors size all those things but if you sell an item which doesn't have no colors no size no whatever just something like an umbrella something like that you just say none then say next after doing next it's gonna say brand but brand just uh, a little bit don't put brands for now because on brands I think they might ask you the authorization to sell that specific brands and stuff leave brands here because also tells you it optional leave it then you come here give the color is black then you come to the second one you can give the model number i'm gonna say fiat 500 then after that we're gonna go to the next one it could ask you the part number so part number of that part maybe you're selling spares and uh, you can see it's not something which is no which is optional so i'm gonna go to you can use um what they call chat gpt and ask chat gpt and say fiat 500 i'm not showing you that uh, part number four fender liners okay then chat gpt is gonna give you that number so when you get those numbers it's gonna be good then you can put in here that part number 
okay this one you put in that part number then it's gonna be fine um, once you get it uh, I'm not um, let me see it okay I'm getting it yeah right I'm getting it I'm getting it okay I'm gonna just say part number let me just stroke that um, that okay then it says select which car does it use this one i'll say that's gonna be a fiat fiat that's the brand the, the what they make select it because here it says brand compatibility it's compatible with what what which which brand it's material is say plastic okay plastic it's plastic you give it whatever it is then country of origin this one was from Poland or Italy or I would say Taiwan Taiwan or China China but read on your stuff which you're selling to know that what are you selling I think this is something which would say Chinese made okay if you say China warranty take a lot doesn't allow you to sell things without warranty then say give limited and make it six months just pray that in six months someone doesn't say it's, they bring it back and all that okay with and whatever all that does they need that sometimes it could be uh what a problem so you can also go to chat gpt and ask please give me with uh -huh. length height they'll ask you uh, from height you can see this width uh, there's length there's uh, height then there's what they call weight you see okay you have to get all of those four okay once you get all of those four so um you go to chat gp it's gonna give you all of that so they're gonna estimate uh like maybe they they say this is gonna be package weight package package width 52 centimeters which is okay 50 i would make the highest 60 centimeters instead of getting 52 then we say package length um what is that okay what was uh the first one is width which is this is 60. then the second one this one should be 20 i'll say 30. then we go to another one which is a height height could be 30 or two then we're gonna go to kg either kg could be approximately five pounds which is two point something but i'm gonna say four kg yeah four kg which is okay and then it's not even four kg but i'll just make it like that uh, but no four kg is too much for me it's gonna be maybe two two kg each could be maybe one kg because there are two then after that you say next after next this you're done almost so what you need to do here is the title and the subtitle if you have so that's super easy so what you're gonna do you're gonna just put here title this is optional if you don't want to don't put them okay then maybe you can say here I can say left and right things which are optional don't worry about them because they tell you there so now they need a description of this and uh, uh, what will I do? Okay, so I would say um, I got my own description about that and uh, I already done that and you can say okay um, I can even put in the description saying that which cars can it be used on so it can fit 
from 2007 to 20 i would say maybe 17 but i have to be, you have to make sure because uh you have to help your people so here they say what does a person get in the box i'm gonna be they're gonna be two in the box two times um okay put them that way you can see okay those are then you're done guys you can say next so if you have a video i i skipped something where you can put a link for the video to show you maybe it's a very good idea if you have uh, a, a product you make a video a small video put it on youtube put a link on this uh uh there's a, something which i skipped at the back but don't worry about that then you put a video so i go to fender liners i pick up whatever i need i'm gonna pick up this guy to be the front image then i pick another image second image make sure the images are not the same because they're gonna reject your because some people that's the same images try to shoot images in different angles so that uh, the computer doesn't see the system doesn't see that like you you're duplicating something once you're done with us just say next 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 or preview once you do that and you're happy with whatever you see here then you're fine you're good to go you can see our you can see that uh, optional stuff we put left and right okay that's fine then you say two times fiat what 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 fender liners okay that's good this is enough information to show a person i also told the person this thing can work on your cars from 2007 to 2017 okay then after that you can also click edit to go back you can duplicate if you want but what for nothing so what you do you can say you can see all this information gives you everything so now you say submit and say confirm submission so when you submit doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna approve now so you wait they check you check your images you check what you're selling um yeah once you're done with that then you're done you only have to wait up until they are comp uh, they, they are approved if they approve them now i have three items in in a queue so you can see this one is complete and uh, you're gonna see they're gonna be complete all of them they're gonna be complete but then to see that it's approved you come here and say you see new product created here existing product zero why because yeah i think this product it's not it's a lead time lead time means like these ones uh, i just send them i want uh rejected zero so which means this product is not rejected mind this when you see completed mind this row it's gonna say rejects zero if it says zero it means it's completed then you can go and put which numbers you have how many you want to send you know all those things yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if i made any mistake and you are a pro on this please forgive me and put in the comment box below and say you forgot to do this and this and this you know when you make videos also we learn every day thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video yeah